Don't go getting yourself shot. Alrighty, dude. We're past that. I'll holster my gun. I'd rather be left alone. Prim Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Wow. Happy trails, partner. Damn robots. Ooh, the bank? Who the fuck's. I can steal a pencil. Great. Who's working the bank? I'll open this door, and there is a safe which I cannot open because it constitutes as stealing. And what time is it? It's, well, it's noon. Where the fuck is everyone at? Ah, eh, whatever. Wow. Whatever. A sweet a sarsaparilla machine. Oh. Can I, can I play? I I can't play, can I? How come that guy was playing? Maybe I have to sit down and play. Let's see. I cannot play. Lame. Alright, so what do we have to do? Let's check the old quest log. Um... Whatever. Prim's deputy has been captured by Powder Gangers and Bison Steve and needs to be rescued. Alright. Let's go rescue us a deputy. Does that sound like a good idea to everyone? Alright, let's go. Let's go rescue that deputy. Funny story is I'm making my way. So I'm making my way. I don't know how far of a trek it's going to be, but a lot of times I get the question, you know, has anyone ever... Is he really across the street? Wow. A lot of times people ask me, hey, you ever get recognized, you know, randomly? And until now, I haven't. But when I went to try and get this game at midnight, which failed miserably because they didn't have the game, which is the second time in a row that they have not had the game in the early morning hours that I had hoped for, someone actually did recognize me. Oh my god. Someone actually did recognize me. Which was, wow. They both dropped at almost the exact same time. Um, someone actually did recognize me. Is my light on? My light is on. Seems like the light isn't quite quite as bright, and we will definitely not be able to lockpick that bad boy. But, uh, someone actually, yeah, someone actually did know who I was. It's kind of, uh, kind of a first-time thing, you know. It's pretty cool. I'm not weirded out about it. I don't care. I'm not gonna be like, oh, someone recognized me. It's so weird. You guys are weird. Uh. Let's go explore this little area. There's teddy bears all over the goddamn place. Okay, pre-war books in New Vegas are definitely... Definitely not <laughs> as rare as they were in in Fallout 3. Let's go ahead and take that. But uh, yeah, someone someone didn't know who I was. There's money on the floor. Oh, there's a safe there too. Someone knew who I was and talked to him for a little bit. Can't can't unlock that until I eventually left like half an hour later because they could not find it and apparently it was quote unquote on order. I can't see him. Quote unquote on order. Oh man, I really need that perk that makes that makes uh that's more accurate. I will repair it. Sweet. Goodbye. So that was kinda cool. Um just one person so far. I I've had friends, like real life friends that have known uh have known other people at their jobs that have heard of me, but I've never randomly encountered someone who who knew who I was. Oh fuck, I don't I need to boost that lockpick skill up. I really do. Next next level up we'll be doing uh we'll be doing some lockpick boosting, if I can remember. Okay, Vats. God damn Vats. Come on. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Can't see. Oh my god. He has some sort of baton. Oh, he has a cleaver. Fuck this dude. No! No cleaver man! Back away. Aw. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Could you hit the ground any harder? That's pretty funny. Alright. Ha! 
Now this is good old fashioned fun fallout. Uh oh. That that could have been really bad. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Well, at least that works when you're right fucking next to somebody. That's a plus. Man, these guys have tons of loot. Like, I don't remember guys having this much loot in the beginning of Fallout 3. Holy crap, look at all the 9mm pistols. That's ridiculous. So basically, like, a lot of people would always ask me, like, how I made as much money and ammo as I did in Fallout 3. Oh, sweet. I can repair my weathered... My weathered pistol. Oh, sweet. I will definitely use that. It's got a DR of 2 or a DT, whatever they call it, in this game. Repair items in your inventory, sure. I'm just repairing stuff to repair stuff now. But people would always ask me, like, oh, how did you get, like, so much... So much, uh money and stuff and I I'm just the person who likes to uh who likes to pick stuff up I'm just a person who likes to pick stuff up a lot and I will just this is hopeless it is hopeless it is hopeless where are you going where are you going nowhere you got shot in the leg passed out and dead but uh, that's definitely what what I did in Fall 3, and that's definitely what I'm going to do here. I just keep, uh, you know, I got my barter and my repair to 100, and uh, I would definitely just keep repairing stuff and selling it. Also, I'd o I would only pick up, I would only pick out a couple of, uh, couple of guns to use that I really liked, and uh, I would sell, I would sell the other guns and ammo that I didn't particularly want to use, and people... Some people didn't like that, but you know, I'm playing the game. It's it's my own it's my own way of playing it. And uh, you know, there's there's the deputy. I'm gonna explore a little bit more. But that's definitely how I did it. Like the minigun, for example, I didn't like the minigun, so I would sell all the five millimeter ammo, and uh, and sell all the miniguns I got, and it it definitely added a lot to my to my money and my other ammo. So that's definitely just how I how I went across things. So if you're having trouble in Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas with uh, getting money and stuff, getting ammo, and you're and you're stuck, just just take that advice. I also used some of the perks. I can't remember what what perks they were, but it helped you find more caps and more ammo when you opened up containers, and that that helped a little bit too. Like it it'll it'll build up. So use that advice if you're having some trouble with uh, caps, ammo, weapons, stuff like that. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. I did come to rescue you. I've got to get going. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you have information. Okay, let's ask him how he ended up being a hostage. I must say I'd like it's to been know. A low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. That sucks. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, I don't have high enough speech. I'm sure you mean well, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory is going to function. That sucks. I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds, I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. Sure, why not? Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Cool, at least I can hit this. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Yeah, he was gonna run. What a little bitch. If we were to miss a convict or two in here, who'd know the difference? I just hope I won't have to use it. Oh, he already has a freaking pistol. 
All right, let's let's get out of here. What is he doing? 